Hello everyone, Teacher Ron here from Tan Kalapatana School. Welcome to the first episode of Teacher Ron's Science Class. Today, I'm going to discuss about this experiment called Milk Rainbow. Are you excited to know about this milk rainbow? I'm excited as well. Alright, so the things that you need to remember first before we start, we have the so-called atom. What is an atom? An atom is a building block of matter. And there are three states of matter. Solid, which is the table that, I'm, uh, that is in front of me right now. Liquid, which is milk, water, and gas. Wherein you can uh, you won't be able to see gas, but gas is in the air, which is what we call oxygen. If a group of atoms bond together, it will form molecules. And that will play a very important role in our science experiment for today. So here are the things that we need uh, for this science experiment. We need milk, a dishwashing soap and some food colorings. It depends on what color you, you like. A swab or a cotton bud. Very easy, right? It's just like, these are the things that you can easily see at home. I also have prepared a plate here. And let's start this, let's start this experiment. So you have to be careful when you're touching the food coloring. because it easily uh, goes to your hand like this. Milk has a lot of um, uh, different molecules in there. So there's the water molecule, there's the fat molecule, and there are a lot of things, there are different things in the milk. Like there's vitamins and minerals too, like the so-called calcium. And uh, just so, uh, for everyone's information, calcium is very important for a healthy bones. That's why kids, you should always drink milk. Now you can just drop food colorings probably at the middle. All right, just like that. So kids, what color is that? The more colors that you put in, the better the result. So we have two colors now, the green and the orange. Now let's add the color red. All right. And lastly, and lastly, the color yellow. Who loves color yellow here? Now let's add a little bit more of that yellow. All right. And now you're going to get your swab or your cotton bud. You will be adding the dishwashing soap into the tip of your cotton bud. And are you guys ready what will happen? All right, in three, two, one. All right, you see the colors? The colors are exploding and you can even try and um, try to go to different places and the colors will continue exploding like that. Isn't it beautiful? Wow. Look at the colors. Uh, the color of the milk and the food coloring are making this swirling uh, movement um, right now on the video, right? So uh, why does it happen? This happens because of surface tension. Um, milk has a high surface tension because it contains water. And water has a lot of surface tension. And what is surface tension? Surface tension is um, a property of liquid wherein it attracts or it is attracted into the surface. However, if the more surface tension a liquid has, the more that when it splashes on the surface, it will not spread easily. Imagine water. When, when the water drops into the surface or onto the floor, it makes a sphere shape, right? Now, the liquid has that high surface 
attention too because it has water. The magic there is the dishwashing soap. When we added the dishwashing soap into the milk, it reduces the surface tension because dishwashing soap is a surfactant. What is a surfactant? It is something that reduces surface tension on a liquid. And added to this, the dishwashing soap actually combines or connects with the fat in the milk. So if there's no food coloring, you will not see this happen. All right? That's the reason why we added the food colorings into the milk. Because if we don't add the food colorings, you won't see it happen. But then, you saw it. The movement of the food colorings, it is because the surface tension has been reduced. The, uh, the molecules can easily move freely around the milk. And the, molecule, the fat molecules and the dishwashing molecules, they try to combine to each other. And that causes that explosion of colors in this science experiment. I hope you liked this experiment. And again, we call it the milk rainbow. I hope you guys liked it and I hope you learned uh, something from this. What are the important terms uh, that we learned from this video? We have atom, which is the building blocks of matter. We have three states of matter, which is solid, liquid, and gas. If a group of atoms bond together, it forms molecules. And a lot of things around us are basically made of molecules. Just like the milk right now, which has the water molecules, fat molecules, and different other things in that. All right, so again, thank you so much for uh, watching. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and see you guys on the next episode here in Teacher Ron's Science Class. Bye.